On behalf of the board of NSW, I would like to thank all the contributors to our $1.5 million capital campaign. The federal government's contribution through CMHC has covered almost a third of the construction costs, and, and Rick, clearly it was one of the major catalysts in our being able to go ahead this spring. Uh, I'd like to thank the board for their courage, because we haven't quite finished all our fundraising, but if, given the availability of CMHC funding and the push to get going and to get shovel in the ground and so on, here we are. So it's really wonderful to see. The provincial government uh, contributed almost $300,000. We've also received significant contributions from our local governments across the county. You heard about Coburg as an example. Some of the donations which we received from service groups, companies, and volunteer organizations have been recognized through room designations in the expansion. We have, for example, the Cameco Room, which you'll be visiting shortly, which is the largest meeting and counseling room in the facility on the second floor. We also have in the shelter portion the Lakeshore Lions bedroom, the Rotary Lounge, and a group room sponsored by the Township of Crammy in memory of William and Annie Mutton. These and individual donors have been recognized on the donor wall in the front vestibule. This wall sculpture designed by John Halsell and her staff will provide permanent recognition of our current and future donors for this expansion. celebrating here. We're celebrating not not just the fact that a building's completed, what we're celebrating is the fact that, that we know that many, many more people are going to be able to receive uh, better services through Northumberland Services for Women. Uh, improved services because there's an improved facility uh, and an enhancement to the programs uh, that they already provide and I'm just so proud to be able to be uh, part of part of the community that's helping to make those most, those things happen. Dear friends, on behalf of the Government of Ontario, please accept my sincere congratulations as you celebrate the opening of Northumberland Services for Women's much-anticipated expansion. I am sorry that I cannot be with you this afternoon to celebrate. I am, however, delighted to offer my personal thanks for the outstanding efforts that have brought us to today's ribbon-cutting. We know that governments can't do everything. That is why your initiatives services and investments are so very vital to our communities. Together we can make great things happen. Again, please accept my sincere congratulations and my best wishes for Northumberland Services for Women's continued success. Lou Rinaldi. There's no doubt this expansion of the facility and the services is extremely good news, but the downside continues to be the, ori the original Northumberland Services for Women facility was not sufficient to meet the growing needs of the clients in Northumberland County. With the support of all your community partners, expansions to the east, west and south wings of the facility will accommodate more emergency beds, large rooms for group counselling, a number of smaller individual counselling rooms and a welcoming space where clients can feel comfortable and safe when entering Northumberland Services for Women. Services such as emergency relocation, emergency transportation, a 24-hour crisis line, two-hour free legal advice, educational programming, as well as children's shelter are essential to fully support client needs. Being able to provide adequate, adequate facilities and services for those in need is a great boon to staff morale and client dignity, both of which are key to the success of this organization. This is a proud day for everyone who has helped and this is in this much-needed expansion of the facility.